One of the main features of this user interface is the way different coloured images inside the picture boxes will display existing bookings and allow you to make new bookings. So the first bit of coding I'm going to show you is how to work with images and picture boxes. We're also going to see how to use a resource file. Putting the images into the project's resource file means that they'll be compiled into the executable and this makes deploying the finished application a whole lot easier later on. I've already created some simple icons using a separate graphics application. I've also made sure that they match the size of the picture boxes. So you can see here each picture box is 22 by 22. So let's see how we get these into the project's resource file. I go to project and then the properties of the project is down here, ticket bookings properties. I want to display the resources tab and then to add a resource to this project it's fairly obvious. Add resource. Add existing file. By the way I can actually create a simple little image here but I'm going to add an existing file so I'll browse out for those and I just happen to have put them here. So there's my first one, available.bmp and another one, booked.bmp, notice I'm using bitmap files and finally provisional.bmp. So those are now part of my project and they will be compiled into the executable. Now that my image resources are in place, I'm going to use one of them on a form. So let's switch back to the user interface. What I want to do is establish the initial image for each of these picture boxes. That'll be the little grey one. And I'm going to use the form's load event to do this. Now I could do each of them individually within the properties window, but that's going to take me some time. Later on, I need to be able to manipulate them programmatically anyway, so I might as well go down this route. So into the forms code, form events, load. I'm going to visit each control on the form. First of all, I'm just going to output its name just to make sure that I can. So I'm declaring an object variable of type control. And now I'm going to use the for each construct to visit each one. For each control in me.controls, for each control on the form, let's just output the name for now. And see what we get. Label one, label two, okay, we can see what's going on here. We're visiting every single control on the form. I'm really only interested in the picture boxes. So let's do something about that. For each control in the controls collection of the form, if type of C is picture box, then I'll output its name. Let's see what we get this time. OK, now we're just visiting the picture box controls. Notice that we're visiting these controls in a, a rather peculiar order. It's actually the reverse order in which I placed them on the form. That doesn't really matter as long as I'm visiting each of these picture boxes. OK, so now that I can actually visit each one, I want to set the image property of each of those picture boxes. So if type of C is picture box, then C dot image. Ah, now I'm not seeing 
the methods and properties of a picture box control here. So what I'm going to do is cast this generic control as a picture box. And I can do this using the cType function. So C type C as picture box. And now when I hit the dot, I'm seeing the properties and methods of a picture box. So I'm going to set the image property to be equal to. Now this is interesting. I want to pick it up from the resource file. So it's my dot resources. And within there, I want the available icon. So let's see what we get this time when I run it. Voila, little grey heads. The next thing I want to put in place, which is related to what I've just done, is to change the image when I click on a picture box. So if I click on a little grey head, I want it to become green. If I click it again, I want it to become grey again. This is the way the user is going to make provisional bookings. So I'm going to set up a little program for the click event of each picture box. A double click there takes me straight into the click event for picture box 10. OK, so how am I going to do this? I'm going to ask the question, if the image is the little grey one, I'm going to change it to the green one. And if it's the green one, I'm going to change it to the grey one. OK, so notice that this event handler is being passed sender as object. Sender is the picture box which I've clicked on. So I'm going to need to cast that as a picture box to get the list of properties and methods like this. OK, if this particular picture box has an image which is equal to, and I'm going to do what I did before, my dot resources dot available. If it's available, then I'm going to change it to a different image. But I've ran into a problem here. And what's this? Operator equals is not defined for types system drawing dot image. I can't test the image property of this picture box like this. OK, so let's just try something else then. I'm going to declare a bitmap object. And you know what? I'm going to instantiate it as well. So I'm going to dim it as a new system.drawing.bitmap. And now I'm going to define it as my.resources. Dot available. Okay, now that actually means instead of putting in my dot resources dot available here, I can just refer to available icon. So let's do that. But it also means I can ask this question if the image is equal to available icon, and in fact, because it's an object, I don't say equal to, I say is then I'm going to switch it to another icon. So I think I might as well define that as a bitmap as well. Let's copy this and change that to the provisional icon. And I'll reset it down here using that object variable. Notice when I'm setting it, I do use the equal sign. OK, so if it's the available icon, I'm going to change it to the provisional icon. Else if it 
it's the provisional icon then I'll change it back to oh, is then I'll change it back to the available icon okay if it's gray make it green if it's green make it gray this is only going to work for picture box 10 at the moment but let's give that a go that's picture box 10 yeah that's working nicely okay my last job for now is to get this little routine working for every picture box on the form. At the moment you can see, by examining the handles clause, it's only working for picture box 10. Now there's a, a rough and ready way to sort this out. I can just add more handles clauses onto the end of this. So it's handling picture box 10, click, I can handle picture box one dot click and picture box two dot click and of course every single picture box on the form and it's going to get very messy I can also use a space underscore here to wrap it round so it'll be a little less messy picture box three dot click and with a bit of copying and pasting, I can probably get that all together. But you know what? It's going to take me a long time and I think it'll look rather messy there. There's a better way to do this actually. At runtime, I can associate the events with this particular event handler using something called the add handler command and I can do that when the form loads so let's try that instead I'm going to get rid of these all together and in my form load event well here I'm already visiting each control on the form and testing if they're picture boxes so I'm going to use this loop to add my event handler to each of those picture boxes as well. Like this. Add handler. C dot click. The click event of each of those picture box controls. And then I use address of to tell it which program is going to handle that event. It's called picture box 10 underscore click. Should probably have changed that name, but there you go, that'll work nicely. So let's see what we've got this time. Very nice, a very elegant way to associate an event handler with a number of different controls. Do try this code yourself.